you uh, everyone for joining us here today and thank you to Mrs. Rago for her gracious hospitality in opening her home, her son um, and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Rago, John and Pam. Um, but again, we just want to get the message out there of, um, you know, what's truth and what's fiction. And this is the truth. Um, right now, uh, Mrs. Rago and anyone walking up saw the for sale sign out front is literally being forced to leave her home, her home that, that she has been in for over 50 years. She and her husband raised their family here, John. Um, and it, it's a painful thing to have to leave your home. This is the place she wishes she could stay, but unfortunately, because of what is happening with the taxes here um, in the town of Avalon, and really, of course, Suffolk County, to be fair, um, they're going up. And we actually have the bills, we have the numbers from 2008, from a, a, a fee of $9,800 to today of almost $12,000. And that's for the veterans exemption. That's for the veterans exemption. Without that veterans exemption, without her husband, you know, risking life and limb and being in World War II, was it? Um, it would be almost 13, anywhere from 12 to $1,800 more. So that would take the tax bill on this modest, you know, home to over $13,000, almost $14,000 a year. And when you take someone's pension, doesn't even pay for the taxes, the fact that this is a two-family house is the only thing really that's going to enable her probably to sell it. Um, but even if you took the income from the apartment, it doesn't pay for the taxes and that's without everything else that's involved. 